Hello, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'll show you how we can perform a VLOOKUP in Power Query. As you can see, I have three tables. This is the result table which I have already created and I'll explain how we can achieve this. This is our ID and department table where we have ID and department and here we have ID, first name and last name. And the idea is to bring these departments by comparing these IDs and update this table with the corresponding department for each employee. And uh, to do this, we only have to perform just two, three steps simply from the tables. First, we have to convert the data ranges into proper official Excel tables and then from the data table from the get and transform data section click on from table slash range. What we need to do is basically we, we uh, just have to load both of these tables as connection only and then we'll perform a merge. So simply uh, we from the uh, data uh, get and transform section we loaded it into power query and then uh, created a connection we'll do the same for this one as well from get and transform section in the power query editor from the home tab close and load as close and load to and then only create connection so now we have both of both of our tables as connections and now we'll perform the merge from the get data combine and merge the idea is to bring in the department in this table so this is our the table where we want to bring in the results so it will remain on top and the department table will be our secondary table so id column is our match column and we'll just hit ok and load it into power query The reason we are using Power Query is because considering the large number of data sets when we need to perform lookups on 100,000, 200,000 rows, we lookups get extremely slow because they check cell by cell for an exact match. So that's the reason they can be extremely slow. So performing it with uh, in Power Query is way easier and way faster. So as we have just uh, loaded uh, the data in Power Query, we'll simply need to unselect all of this and simply check department column as we only need the department column. And that's it. We have our department column in our table and we'll go and close and load to in a table on the existing sheet and that's it. And uh, the important thing for this one is it is absolutely dynamic and if I just remove this, for example, if I just exclude this from the data from the table and go and hit refresh, it perishes, it perishes. And once I go and bring it back in the table, right click, refresh and it appears right back in. So this is how you can perform VLOOKUP in Power Query. Let me know if you have any questions or want me to make another video on any other topic similar to this or anything else. Please do uh, uh, mention it in comments and also consider my uh, subscribing my channel. Thank you so much. Good day.